Hey everybody, Miles J here, and welcome to Q&A number 24. Nah, not on Jeezy Bay. Nah, nah, not on Jeezy Bay. Nah, not on Jeezy Bay. Where are my bad girls at? You know, I don't mean like bad as in like bad, like stealing, killing people bad, but I mean like bad as in like good, you know? Hold up, I need to add another accessory. Oh, Jesus. All this hair. Oh, Lord. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Oh, Lord! Oh! Anyway, Q&A is something I do every other Thursday, depending on how I feel, where I answer some of your stupid and or thought-provoking questions. Let's get started. Could you share some story about your dating history for the next Q&A? Like, maybe an awkward or funny experience. My whole dating experience is a joke. I've learned to accept that, and I share stories proudly now with a smile on my face. Okay, so, um... So the first time I ever like talked to someone and like asked them out to somewhere, it was this guy that my friend had recommended. I kind of liked him. It was like a uh, kind of situation. You know what I'm talking about. My friend told me to ask him because she knew that he liked me or something like that. So I was like, okay. So I did. And I went out to him. I was like, hey, do you want to go to what's his face? Tomorrow, it was it was Sadie's, the Sadie Hawkins dance for, you know, Valentine's. It was really tacky and cheesy and whatever. If he didn't like me, we could still go as like friends, right? But no, he like just sat there in front of his friends and he just smiled and laughed awkwardly at me and he just sat there. He couldn't even give me a yes or no answer. So I was just like, I didn't want to go. I mean, we don't have to go together. I mean, it's okay. So this was like at the beginning of school. Eventually I just had to leave and go to my class and then my friend was so mad at him. He didn't even give me an answer. So I was like, okay, whatever. Can you do a split on a tree? Hashtag splits on trees. Are you going to any prides this year? If so, which one? Yes, I'm actually going to be heading over to Philly slash New Jersey so that way I can visit Nick or Soundly Awake and Ken or Ken's the Dork on YouTube and I'm gonna be staying with them and while I'm staying with them, I'm gonna be like traveling by bus or like train or something to go over to Loser Luigi's place or Yasin. We are just gonna hang out and then we're gonna go to Pride and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be my first Pride too. So I'm like super excited and I honestly can't believe it's taken me this long to actually go to one, so. Are you still planning on going to school? Or has YouTube taken over your life to the point where you don't have to? Yes, I'm still planning on going to school. And even if YouTube had taken over my life to the point where I wouldn't have to, I still would. And YouTube hasn't taken over my life completely yet. What do you think about Miley Cyrus's new music video for We Can't Stop? I really think that Miley was just setting the tone like how most of her music videos are after she came off the of Disney Channel. She's like, hey, I'm not on Disney Channel no more. I'm a grown woman. And now she's like, I'm grown and I'm gonna do whatever I want. In the video, there's like all kinds of weird shit going on. Like she's twerking and shitting her ass or whatever. She's making out with dolls, you know. Some girl cut off her fingers and pink spurted out of I don't know, but there was just it was just a mess of things. And then she's like, yeah, I'ma do this. And what? What you gonna say? What you gon' do? That was pretty much the tone of the whole thing. Just Miley being Miley. Have you ever wanted to change someone's attire right when you saw them because it was tacky? Or did you just comment on them? I've never had the intense internal desire to go out and change somebody's physical attire because I've never liked it. And if that has ever happened to me before, it hasn't happened in a long time. For example, Crocs. Those shoes do not bother me at all all. People walking around with Crocs, I'm like, okay. There was people, a bunch of people walking out with those jelly slippers, those ugly jelly slippers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Back in the 90s, everybody was wearing those. People with sandals and socks on, like knee-high socks, girl. And you know, it's okay. I, it doesn't matter if I don't like it. Let those people wear those things. Let them be comfortable as they are in them ugly outfits. 
if you think they ugly, good, that's good for you. But if they think they pretty in those outfits, it is not up to you to decide how they feel in that particular clothing, okay? And the only reason why I'm saying this is because I, as a male who dresses up in female clothing, gets a lot of shit. I'm not hurting anybody by doing this. I'm not doing nothing. So if I see somebody wearing something ugly, something that's ugly to me, I'm not gonna say nothing to you. Because to have somebody tell you, I don't like what you're wearing because of such and such, or you should get blah 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 done because blah 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 doesn't match, just is, goes through one year and out the other. I'm not trying to listen to you. I feel good in this. And for you to come up and tell me that it doesn't look good on me or that I should change it because you don't like it is your problem, not mine. How did you and Broom meet? Hey Broom, do you want to tell that story? Don't be so shy. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> well, I'll tell the story. He's just so silent. He's a strong silent type. Don't tell him I said that. When I first moved here, Broom wasn't here. He was just out in one of the cellars or whatever. And then my dad happened to cross him and he just invited him to stay for us with us for a little while so that way he could help us clean, you know, right? So he helped us clean for a little while. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'll, I'll get to the good part. Then all of a sudden, I seen him out of the corner of my eye and I was like, who is dad? He is the cleanest motherfucker I've ever seen in the planet Earth. Look at him. And not to mention that yellow was one of my favorite colors back then. Uh, he still got one of my pink hair in his bristles. Oh, you, you're so nostalgic. He took me out to this first date. Um, he had Mr. Clean. I had some macaroni and cheese with ketchup. He knew just what to order for me. And I was like, how did you know? And he said he saw me eating it when I was in the kitchen and he was cleaning. I was like, oh my God, you have such a keen eye for things. So yeah, that's how we met. You can leave now, bro. Bye. Will you marry me? They say laughing keeps you young. So with you, I'd have my personal fountain of youth. I'm not gonna marry you just to keep you looking young and cute. What about me? Okay, so you just gonna let me get old and shriveled while you staying young and beautiful as I keep cracking jokes? No, that is not how a relationship works, boo. So the answer is no. What's your dream job besides entertaining on YouTube? My dream job would definitely have to be like going on like a TV series, an action TV series that has like really good filmography or whatever, camera stuff and you know fight sequences and gun sequences, just all that action shit and drama and people dying. like. I would be so down for that, just as long as I was one of the main characters that didn't really die yet. Or at least like the very main character, like I would be that bitch. I could be that bitch. Which cartoon character would you hashtag get it with? No, that is so nasty. Ain't nobody gonna get it on with no cartoon character bowling from The Legend of Korra. Is he legal? What do you do if you use the bathroom at a friend's house and you accidentally flood their toilet? Okay, see, this has happened to me on multiple occasions and it is the worst thing that can happen when you're over at somebody's house because the last thing that you want to do is open the door, especially if you like took a shit, which is probably why the toilet is flooded and you know, the shit was too big to go down the toilet. So you're just like, oh shit. I've never actually flooded the toilet so that way like there's water seeping out of it because then that would just be a nightmare. But I flooded it to the point where it was about to overflow and I was like shit so hopefully they have a plunger somewhere in the near vicinity or else you are just going to have to lock yourself in the bathroom for the next 30 minutes or an hour and let that poop like soak up in the water so that way when you flush it again it'll go through and the water should go down as time progresses that's actually happened to me before and I haven't had experience with this and it is the worst thing ever oh god Hopefully they got some Febreze. Oh, Jesus. And that is it for Q&A number 24. Mm, 24. Okay. Um, and I also want to just apologize for my last video because a lot of people who were entering the giveaway got messages from some fake ass profile that wasn't me and it said that you had to do some damn survey and I'm sorry for all those people who thought they won and really didn't. I still have to get everybody's names and randomly generate a winner for the contacts. Yeah, just want to apologize for that. Watch out for people who aren't me. Make sure to check the profile name. 
And if it tells you to do a survey, don't do it. I will talk to you guys all later. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Exciting things are coming next week. Just want to let you know. Q&A. Subscribe!